Welcome back to Good Day Atlanta. Time is 917 and season three of Queen Sugar on OWN has been captivating audiences and we get a closer uh, we get a closer look as we head toward the season finale. Here it is. Take a look. I don't expect you to accept this. What's going on between me and say your name. No. My sister. Mm, one of the stars of the show, Dondre T. Whitfield plays Remy Newell, and Dondre joins me this morning to, to talk about all of this. Yes. Welcome to Good Day, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, Thank we're you. so glad And congratulations. To Thank you. Thank you. We, we were talking kids during yes. the break. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about your, your character on the show. What, yes. what, would, you, what would you say about, about um, that? This guy is salt of the earth guy who is a community person. Um, he's the guy that you want in the room when things aren't going well. I, mm -hmm. uh, he's the resuscitator of the show. Um, so for all of these things to have gone the way they've gone now, where there's this great interest in the other sister, mm -hmm. has been earth shattering. Uh, Remy was trending. Uh, on, <laughs> on Wednesday because oh, wow. people were going, what's going on? Yeah, it's been pretty, pretty powerful. Okay. Yeah. You know what? You've said a lot about your character, even through uh, in interviews and, and through publications. And this is one thing that really stands out. You say it's the most fully realized male character that you've ever played. Yes. Yeah. Well, what do you mean by that? Because, you know, we tend to play characters that are somewhat fragmented mm -hmm. when we're written uh, by other so because we don't get a chance to see them fully realized they're not uh, three to four dimensional characters they're usually one dimension it gets to show one side you know of a story and Ava does such a fantastic job of really uh, fully earthing these uh, these characters. So playing a man who otherwise does so much for his community and usually puts everyone else before himself is not usually the types of characters that we get a chance to see when they're played by us. So what do you think that has to do with, with having a, a, a female director and one that I mean, it's it's behind the scenes, kind of run by by women. I wonder if that has anything Not kind to do of. with the fact it's run, that it's yeah, run by women. It, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. So up from the and everything starts from the top. So yeah. it can't get better than you know, there's Oprah Winfrey. I mean, sure. It doesn't get better than that. Um, then right down to Ava DuVernay. Mm -hmm. Creatively, it does not get better than that. And uh, Ava did such a what I what I think now. I didn't think in the beginning was a very smart thing was she made it a, a, a mandate that all of our directors would be women. Mm -hmm. And as a man, of course, I was a little offended. I was like, <laughs> we can Wait, tell what? good stories too. <laughs> but I think that it was a phenomenal choice because I think that with the way the, sto the, the, the show is structured, mm -hmm. that it takes the sensibilities of a woman to be able to, to really fully realize all of the relationships uh, and to give uh, the, the other character on our show, which is the landscape, the justice that it, yeah, that it, it deserves. It, makes it sense definitely that it works. works. And my wife uh, directed yes. two of our episodes too, so which was how phenomenal. Was that? It was like home. Oh wow! Uh, yeah. <laughs> because uh, one of our telling you what to yeah, do. One of our assistant directors <laughs> said, "Oh my gosh!" Like the first day, you know, that she came in, it's like, "What's that gonna be like?" I was like, "It's gonna be like home." She tells me <laughs> what to do at home, and now she gets to tell me what to do at work. So it's gonna Nothing be like new home. Here. Yeah. Nothing to see. Yeah. Nothing Same to see. Thing. So during the break, we talked about you know about how you have two kids, and you mentioned that your your wife is uh, had a chance to direct the show. I mean, how do you how do you keep everything balanced? You've got this this great career, uh, and you're on TV, and then you've yeah. got you've got family. As well, and then so working you... on my book soon because I'm about cool. to, end my, you know, my deal with my publisher. It is uh, we play a great uh, balancing act. My wife directs characters on the screen, <laughs> and I direct lives off the screen. Love I that. go around the country uh, teaching primarily young black and brown males about how to become men. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like that's the uh, that is really. Uh, the thing that is uh, missing most in our society right now, uh, manhood, you know, the, the, the grown males, as I call them, are, are out shouting 
uh, the men right now. And we don't have any clear voices in the space of manhood and it's leaving spaces of devastation uh, throughout our country. So I do that, but my, you know, my wife and I are very uh, proactive about making sure that we use the kind of energy in our marriage that we use in our uh, mm -hmm. in our careers. Yeah, teamwork. Yeah, Making and it you work. have to do that. Yeah. I, I mean, I call my, my wife my girlfriend to this day because oh, you really do have sweet. to, you, you have to do that. There are times where, you know, I have to remind her at times, look, we come first, the kids follow. Mm -hmm. And sometimes uh, relationships will put the, the children first and then the relationship falls by the wayside because the child, become, by the way, this is a little tip. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, I'm all ears over here. So make sure that no matter what, that you and your husband come first, the child will, will be fine. Words she will be wisdom. good. I am listening to be you good. every word, Dondre. It's so good to have you it here It is today. a pleasure to yeah. be here. Thank you for coming in. And Thank you for having me. Our thanks to Owen for help coordinating today's interview. Queen Sugar airs Wednesday nights at 10. You can catch the season finale August 22nd. You can say, hey, I saw him on Good Day. Time is 923.